police station. I was hiding under the bed. So one of the guys just came with the, uh, the other lady. She, he did rape her in front of me, but even he didn't recognize that I was around. I was just saw him raping him twice. I couldn't help because he had the gun and I had nothing in my hands and having that fear of he will kill me also. 39-year-old mutuary employee Benny Madizi recounted shocking details of the harrowing incident which left five women getting raped and six others severely assaulted. Madizi was struck on his head with a gun, leaving him with clearly visible wounds. The emotional scars will also take long to heal. After they raped, uh, they raped those ladies, they were going to kill us as a man because they were, can't rape us. This is the spot where the six perpetrators allegedly gained illegal entry onto the grounds of Wisani Burial Society's premises by disconnecting the power supply to the electric fence, enabling them to proceed and gang rape as well as assault the victims. I don't think they deserve uh, to be outside there and just immediately after Women's Month and this is what is happening. So in Limpopo, we don't want this kind of things to happen and we will not allow it to happen. So we'll hunt them until they are arrested. The broader community wants answers. We live in fear as the community that the suspect might strike again if not arrested. The incident which happened took place late at night when we had knocked off. If it was during the day, we would have surely went to rescue the victims. One victim is still hospitalized. No arrests have been made. Police investigations are ongoing. Katla Khonyoni, SABC News, Liporokhong Village.